In India, if you are very, very smart, you become a doctor. If you are a little dumb, you become an engineer. And if you are the dumbest, you become a lawyer. And that's how I became a chemical engineer. When I graduated, I left Nagpur to come to New York to pursue my master's in chemical engineering. I started working with some dispensing dermatological formulation companies. In 1984, I realized that this is something I can do it myself. So I bought myself a mixer and I started making these products in my apartment. And one of the doctors told me that, you know, if you come out to California, I can give you a very large order. I put everything that I own, the kitchen head mixer and the pots and pans into my Dodge Colt and a U-Haul and I came out west, <laughs> 600 square feet and I was the only employee of the company. And that's how it all started. My parents visited me from India and they were the real inspiration for me to go out and really do something and be proud of myself. They worked in my 600 square feet. Our filling machine used to be a funnel. My dad was the best filler and my mother was the best labeler. She used to put the labels on and then I used to go in the afternoon and deliver it. In those days, I didn't even have a green card. I was sponsoring myself from my own company. Early 90s, I met with founder of 99 Cent Store, Dave Gold. LV was one of the first vendors that we purchased things for that grew as much as he had. And we've enjoyed over 20 years business relationship with him plus uh, plus social he was very nice to me taught me a lot of things as to how to create value but it became an industry when macon brock of dollar tree bought my products first time through a wholesale output of 99 cent store the relationship really started over his ability to supply the dollar price point as no one else could I think LD's ability to meet the buyer's demand, to understand the price point and the concept, to appreciate the volumes that dollar business could bring, and because of his chemical background and ability to make products that do what you needed to do and meet the public demand, he really took share from all the vendors. From then, the company just took off. We graduated to a bigger unit, which was about 6,000 square feet, and then to 10,000 square feet in Placentia. And in 1993, we bought a building in Buena Park, California. Today, we have three manufacturing plants. From 600 square feet, we have over four or five million square feet, four to 500 associates. We have currently actively 400 SKUs, 400 different items, so it's Pretty, pretty diverse. We make roughly 350,000 units in-house daily, and from this facility alone, we ship 300,000 to 400,000 daily, so it's a very smooth uh, inbound, outbound. We transport over 200,000 gallons daily between all our facilities. The secret to the company's success is what we promise we deliver to our customers, you know, and it's a affordable price and a great quality of product, which is a very rare combination in our discount and dollar market right now. When LD gets something in his head, I think he gets everybody on board pretty quickly from vendors to even customers. He lets them know that, hey, this is what you want. He's always striving to be the best and, and to earn the business and to win the business. And so he never gives up. You know, he's got the, he's got the drive and the passion and always wants to win. We reach out to him, not just in the work field, also in personal level. The guys in the back, they call him Papi. Sometimes they say, oh, I have an issue, let me go and check with Papi. I value the most the relationships that I have with the people. You know, as an owner, you always have those dreams and passions and you want to go out and conquer the world. But to find someone else, also to join into your dream and be that passionate is really point of luck at times and I was very very lucky to find every member of my awesome team that is with me. 
He's very good with his employees. And that's one of the reasons why our company has employees who are here with 20 plus years, 15 plus years. Most of the guys, they are with me. This is their first job. And I was lucky that they didn't want to go out and find any other job. I think we all love what we do. Most of us, we've been here for 15 to 26 years, like myself. He always tells me, Norma, let's make more money so we can help more people. I love that. Every day getting up and creating happiness in every employee that is with you and seeing what they have done for themselves by being with you, them achieving their own Maybe that American dream, achieving their own first home, first car, you know, creating their financial stability, that gives the immense joy. And that when you start enjoying other people's happiness, it was drives you the most to do it more. Even though he's grown in such a successful business, if there ever needs to be anything done at the, any level of work, He's the first one to go and jump in, whether it's go, go on a forklift or to make a badge or to load a truck or to, you know what, do whatever needs to be done. And that's the best thing about him is that leadership quality is that, you know what, he will always lead by example. Sky is the limit in this business. These are consumables. People use it, they need it. This is not going to go away. And the key to success in my business is quality, extreme value and making sure that everybody that works around you is extremely happy and content. If you follow these few things, everything else falls in place. It makes me proud to be part of Awesome and have seen everything grow. I mean, Awesome name simply signifies what the product is, both by name and by function. When I look at the amount of people around me now and how they have grown, it really makes me proud that this, this has been a great journey.